Mr. Uh, uh, present my budget. The only increase I have this year would be in the uh, salaries. This budget for 3% cost of living, possibly. And, um, everything else is pretty much the same, except for uh, tonnage fees for an item. I reduced that by 28000 I'm um, seeing that we're getting reimbursement for that. You know, I didn't think we needed quite as much of a budget. Where do you? That went from 120 to 100 to 90. Was that right? Yes. 30 yards. And you know, I still have a <coughs> six month buffer. In there. much in line. We're not anticipating other monitoring wells or surveys or solid waste requirements. No. We're not, you know, not anticipating any, but KDHE, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, looking at the expense and what I've got budgeted for, it's, that's, that's not any, you know, you kind of, like, <coughs> What is 4422 delinquent trash fee reimbursement? Is that a new one? No. It's always been in there. Who would be delinquent? Years ago, and they don't do it anymore, do they? The cities would send a list that people have been paid. You're kidding me. That's from years ago. You could probably yeah. take that out there. I mean, I do have some in the room right now that are <clears throat> for retirees. You know. That's for stuff you build. Yeah. Yeah, this is different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I guess so we were paying the tipping fee, the hauling fee, and everything, and then we were paying the same people didn't <laughs> pay, uh, the non payers. Huh? <laughs> that they were really vanilla. <laughs> that was right. a long time ago. <laughs> I wish I could get in contact with that. Who's <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> included in your salaries besides yourself? Uh, it's myself, um, my replacements when I'm on vacation or something, and uh, some part of her salary. Her salary was part of every third. And then the week he has that cleanup week. Don't you have one or two clients? I've been just using one. That comes to me too. One of the road guys comes and helps me, so that, that's And I got 50 attached. That's good. And uh, that's just the nature of that, that vehicle. It's always pulling, it's a dually. It's, uh, I get about 22, 23,000 miles out instead of five miles. And this top sheet is Kansas land higher price. This is with the government discount, uh, Fishers, they call it. And price that for me with the government discount. Uh, 153 for tire, that's for a uh, two year Wrangler. 10 block. On the back page, you'll see these are from uh, Boston Motorsports. There's various different tires. They're, these are all 10 block also. And 
you know, they vary in prices from $25 to $155, $160 bucks per unit. So that's the second one for $112. Uh, Boston Motor Force. Right. <clears throat> How about his prices are now in the balance? Yes. Now this right here is just tire price on the Kansas mm -hmm. one tire uh charge one. For me, uh, my opinion, uh, given the time on, it, it's had uh, good year rounds on it since since I obtained the vehicle. And, you know, I only get 20 to 20, 22,000 miles on it sometimes. I would just, I think, you know, it's going to use them that fast. I don't see them going to put a $5 tire on it. Anything wrong with that second one? The $112 one? Where well, did it come from? I've, I've never used this brand, brand before. I don't think so. You don't think so? No. I have used the next virus. Uh, that's what I've got on my other video. Is this the warranty he's got marked off to the side? Yes, the that's the warranty. If you haven't used a quality tire like that or something with that kind of road hazard, I, I would lean towards trying that. The Cooper tire? Well, or even the Good Ridge. Not a, the Good Ride? Or not the Good Ride. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. I'd rather. Or even, yeah, even the Cooper. I mean, what if any of those? Because you're still going to be pretty close to. Your Wranglers that you got on there now. Mm -hmm. I don't have to ride in it, so <laughs> I don't know. If it's something we've got to affect your ride, they're all tend to ride. Rudin Ridge has a one time dually. What are they well, doing? Uh, they, they're getting about, well, they run figures. Mm -hmm. And uh, folks are thinking about the same model and yeah, that thing on tires. This is 132.65 as mounted and balanced. Yes. Well, you can try it. But I, I don't, personally, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, yeah. Sanders, interesting. 
Um, I didn't check. I would, uh, to make this a little fair, why don't you, I didn't, call? You know, why don't you let fishers know what all tires are in price? Of well, and then I'd ask uh, Sanders. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I would. Just I'd, get, yeah, I'd get two or three different bids. That's probably the best. Yeah. They actually sell my pretty good price. Yeah, it is a great price. My experience buying tires is about all $200. But they're all the government discount, aren't they? Yeah. I think Philip said that most of that's just the taxes on the all the building taxes on the tires. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I will get another bit. And that's why I cut it so much because it's everything. Well, it's like barricades or, or signs, posts, and stuff like that. That's why I cut it down because we got very few signs we have to have in place. Or shouldn't have, real, technically shouldn't have been here if you went out and run a and you already had the signs available. No, not that. Well, you mean just a temporary? Yeah, yeah we've, we've got some of those in stock. Now, we may have to buy some more clothes. In time you put any kind of temporary traffic control device out, people think it's fair game to. They think it's a deer, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> we, we, you know, we've got to shoot at it. And then we still got all the 911 signs to maintain. That's why I didn't. And then we seem to like to shoot them up in the end of the tunnel. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Okay, that's right. Yeah. I thought you were talking about. Yeah. Thank you. Your 
ten thousand over last year. <coughs> Well, no, because if he, on his income, if he takes in more than it's budgeted, that goes back at the, against the budgeted amount. I was going to say, I know we didn't no. spend, spend more, because I can't spend more like, than budget. Like, say they budget, I don't know, 50000 in, like what he'll take back in from what he, the townships or whatever, he takes in 100000 that other 50000 will go back against his budget. So he so this is kind of deceiving. Okay. Well, I'm just wondering if that's a good deal. Well, maybe the purchases did you have? 13. 13. Remember what you bought? 13. Oh. That's because that you got escalated. Mm -hmm. no, no. No, it was the old dump truck. Yeah, we bought a dump truck. Um, that's about all. Trailers? No, that was yeah, this year. That was yeah, this year. Yeah, that was this year. Um, yeah, last year was the most correct because we got that money back from, from K Rock. That's why this is. Transfers out in the last line item. Where does that go? Does that go in? The it, it depends. It goes either into his machinery or his special. Uh, I think that all went into his machinery. Um. Oh well, it, it was as most of the. I think it took 15 about a little while for for doing that, and then the rest of it. You talking about the Kato money that we got? Yeah, that's pretty much what. Well. I mean, you transferred out 249,013 and. You budgeted to transfer out 116,014, and no. you don't have a proposed for 15. Well, the, the auditors built that 116,000. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. It's 249,000. 199,000 of that was that. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't yeah. say it. Oh, for the yeah. two. Yeah. For two. For exactly. Two whole two. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. But see, he got more. For instance, in 13, he got more city and, and county was highway some, there money. There was some FEMA money too. Mm -hmm. So that would have made that go over uh, 17 or 18,000. He took in more in fuel material and supplies sold than was budgeted. Yeah, so that goes against that. Yeah, yeah. So this. That was a long time. I really was <laughs> <interesting. laughs> <laughs> you know, the 13th. That's, that's why I asked her. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For 219. <laughs> That was at one hundred ninety nine thousand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that kind of skews that. Yeah. Well, the unfortunate thing is, on your road material, oil, and others, is nine hundred thirty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Let's start. Let's yeah. Let's start for a bit. Let's see the check system. <laughs> <laughs> Craig said on that. I haven't signed any yet. <laughs> Wait, my friends when I see black pile black, out black of town. When, uh, when I got that voucher, I got a stroke. It's like, oh, it's that time of year. <laughs> so I warned Lisa. For a long time, said so we had special improvement fund. We, 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 we 
for a long time. Well, with Dane, you rolled enough money over and there we could always pay for our meds. Well, a few years ago that ceased to exist and so it, it pretty much comes out of budget now right off the bat. Which makes everybody cringe. <laughs> it's kind of a shot in the dark what that's going to be. Yeah, day. it is. I mean, who knows what fuel's going to spike or not spike. Or I'm pretty sure one way it's not going to go. Not very much. Nothing ever goes down in price, does it? Well, it's slightly, but it, it comes down, down slightly, but it never comes down, down to back. I mean, then they'll spike it up a little higher, and it'll come back down, but it won't come back down to the uh, they, they tend to they know how to work that game yeah. up like that. Mm -hmm. And then on the 125000 for the equipment, it just, well, I mean, we've got a number of things. We, I didn't budget just one thing. is just, we could probably take our pay down. But you said you have a machinery fund yes. that has a balance it. Yeah, usually if we have some if overages, overages we'll move a lot of that over into there. I thought maybe you know, if on, on that side of the loop, I'd just start budgeting 125000 a year. And if we did, didn't spend it all that year, we'd just move it over into there. That's 126000 So like for the maintenance of that 219 on the sewer, did they put that in there? Do you have a special fund for that or no? Yeah. No, but just absorb. Just absorb. We, we, I held enough money out of it the first time to take a little oil and see what that But it'll take, you know, I mean, it's, it won't take that much money unless we really ever, and it's probably a better built road than most of ours are because it was hot mixed and yeah. I think it's a pretty solid road. Yeah. We, sealed, we, we sealed it last year, so mm -hmm. that won't seal it in four years. So. As, long, as long as we can stay on a four year rotation, it's just sealed. I've, you know, our roads may get a little rougher because we don't have as much mix to smooth them up, but it, at least we're going to keep the water out and we're going to have to fall apart. And if we start going to five years, I don't want to go down that road, guys. It does. It really does. But I mean, once you start trying to play catch up with something, it's it's no fun. I mean, then it does cost lots of money. I mean, knock on wood, most of our roads are in pretty good they're in decent shape right now. I mean, all the dish work we've done and getting the water away from it is going to help things. So I feel good about where we're at, but I don't want to go backwards either. Right. So. And I'm sure the year does. I mean, it's, that's just I mean, you get a lot of compliments in the county from what I'm hearing. Well, that's good. I mean, on the road work here, niche work here, though. Oh, the ditches look nice. How often do you try to mow? Is that just been well, we didn't start mowing here from? until a couple of weeks ago, but now the rains came. I mean, yeah, it's, I it's going to turn around and I'm not going to mow. Yeah, I mean, we're probably going to have to turn right around and go back again. But. I mean, a lot of, because Ryan got a pretty good kill on this yeah, stuff nice. where he sprayed. Mm -hmm. Now, all the ditches that we cleaned out there are going to look bad. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll get them out all the right. time. But at least there's going to be some vegetation on them. Yeah. Because, yeah, that's some of us. They, uh, yeah. EPA wants you to go out there and drill it and seed it. And this, you know, you know as well as I do in this country, that's really kind of form of money. I mean, it'd be nice to do that in a perfect world, but... <laughs> I mean, it would. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just... It lies still right now. Any other questions? No, no. I scheduled the Department of Lunch for July 16th, and Phillips can't wait. Do you want to change it? Or do you want to just go with whoever can be there? He's the only one I know of so far that can't be there. What was going on the week before? There was a conflict. The ninth? 
Well, we thought we'd harvest, but we didn't know. Yeah, I thought there was a conflict with that. There was with the NX, I think. Yes, that's why we moved to the 16th. So. Yes, I think there was. I can't remember what's in there that day. I should have went somewhere else. There was a train. Huh? Oh, it was a 4 H. They have yeah. something with the ferry, the fire review thing, or whatever in there. That's what it was. Unless you want to move the meeting place, which <laughs> we did that once. Remember when we went down there? No. We need to do that again too. Yeah. Commissioners, we need to have that. We don't want to wear them clothes down there. We're kind of running out of time. Um, I don't know. Well, that that's always it's an option. Option. Why not? I'm sure so. I think I'd rather move it up than back when we have the budget really submitted good. by the first August. It's the 23rd is too late. That time of year. So you think move? Can you move it there the ninth? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I'd rather move it up than back. Mm -hmm. Just so it's not before 8.30. Yeah. So it's 7 o'clock. Yeah, we're breakfast. breakfast. <laughs> 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 we'll have a breakfast first. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank I didn't talk to Scott Mullen yesterday. It kind of slipped his mind. <laughs> so <laughs> so um, he was supposed to get with the other two, and I'll try to, if, I, if he gets back with me, I'll come up and talk to you uh, as soon as he does. I to, like I told him, I said, you know, we harvest isn't really going to count for that much. We can take I said, I really hate to see you guys put waste money. Right. And, 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 and that, in my I opinion, agree. that's what it is, yeah. wasting money to put hot mix over it. Now, if we get to this way and it's going to be corn harvest, I think mean, corn harvest probably a, is, is a lot bigger deal than wheat harvest anymore. Yeah. So, keep reminding them I'm ready to get the ball rolling. Well, you, yeah. Because that yeah. will slip up on us before long. Yeah, really. Yeah. But at least if we can get something that it works and get it done you know, by next year sometime. It would be nice for everybody involved. I mean, we should have up with like a better or so we can. Yeah. Uh, so it's our one question me whether anything's going to happen. I don't know. <laughs> I, I think the county might just slow wait till the state gets involved. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I said, well, I hope so. They're getting a little anxious sometimes. And, and I'm really surprised when I asked him, and he said, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Because I called down there half a dozen times and he's been out of the office. And I finally called him. So he said he would, he had forwarded that letter on to Vinny, just to Bertie, to Bertie, to Hutch, to just the district and everything like that. And then uh, to Ron Sides, here on local projects. And he hadn't heard anything back from either one of those. So I don't make it wrong call him and he'll find out. But I don't think I don't think there's a whole lot wrong can do basically. It's gonna be up to Vinny and Scott. But at least Scott acknowledged that he did forward and let it on. So we got that part of it done. Yeah, he's the other guy. I don't think he's special projects or something. And he was Ron, on, yeah, Ron's on the Ron, city yeah. to annex that intersection and then they could get money from someplace else to do that. Yeah, let's not make it, yeah, let's use the kiss press <laughs> Very good. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't rain too much tonight.
going to rain, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Did you have guys pick up a few limbs after the... No. We did have some water go across the road, north of the sewer, but uh, it's a little spot, so it's... I stopped down four street and a few limbs off. The well, we had a few out, but I mean, we never had, I never had, nobody ever went ahead to go out, so... I pulled a few off the nuts that were pretty well cleaned off the next day. Wind was pretty fierce. And then, sure, I pulled that ditch up, turned out pretty good, except for water. water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Kevin even called her coffee. He did? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Yeah. That's a bright Brace yourself. Can you <laughs> mark, mark it on the calendar? <laughs> Brace yourself. All right, thank you. Good we job. Well, that happens. Hi, Jeff. Good morning. Good job. Lisa? Lisa? Yeah. Okay. Um, before I present my budget, I'd like to call for an executive session for non elected personnel. Um, Fifteen, twenty minutes, I think. Ten, fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just go. You tell them. You're only on, the, you're only on our agenda yeah. for thirty minutes. So. No, 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 we got to stick to our agenda. For an executive? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> We can always come out early. <laughs> so, right, Joe? I make a motion we get an executive session early. with, uh, for an unlucky personnel, 15 minutes with uh, you and Lisa and the commissioners. Yeah, 15 minutes. You don't need me, do you? I'll do it. Or how many minutes are money? We decided on 15. Yeah, this is okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll second the motion. Okay, we have a motion, a second to go into executive session for 15 minutes. For non elected personnel with Lisa and the commission. All in favor say it. aye. 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 Motion carried. Okay. Um, I'd like to present my total budget for $206,125,000. Um, I put in there um, possible salary increases. Um, for some of the staff and normal step raises. Um, that's a big increase from last year, but I am going a little over this year. I may, you know, however you want me to spend it, I could reimburse. So you guys, we can just keep an eye on that if you want me to reverse some of my girls' wages. But, um, Really, my budget this year is going to be about 191000 realistically. In 2013 is why it was so low. If you remember, that's when I lost a lot of staff. And I really ran a skeleton staff until the fall of, of 13. So we saved a lot of money in wages. But we had three turnarounds, and I didn't rehire trying to save money. and taking time to hire and train and so on and so forth. So had I been full staff in 2013, that would have been a lot higher on my actual expenses also. And I noted that explanation down there in the bottom. All my other expenses are pretty much the same. I'm still looking to image uh, my my um, tax rules, so I put that in my budget again. Um, they're supposed to be getting me a price quote. I really wanted to do that this year, but they haven't got with me on it. But I really would like to mic image and microfilm the tax rules. I, you know, I've got books like this, and then we end up sending them to the salt mine. It'd be a lot nicer to just have a little stack of microfilm. And I think cost comparison is not much more expensive as a copy on a piece of paper. So that really seems to be the trend, but it'll take some setup. And, and I would only start now. I would not go back and microfilm prior tax rules. But I think everything else I pretty much kept the same. So what years do you have on, on the books here rather than, than in the salt mine? 
You I go got, back 10 years? I got 20 years here. 20 here and the rest are in the Salt Lake. 100 years in the Salt Lake. Do you remember when we sent yes. this? I think we had, do you remember no. doing that? No. All these books in the hallway? <laughs> yeah, and the Red Bridge guys took them. Three. It was <laughs> ten ton of books, and LaDonna, Lisa Weber, and I spent like a month in the back end of the fall, packaged, unlabeled, indexed them. And if you need one, to retrieve one, it's $174 or something. Yeah, I don't even know. Yeah, yeah. Is there any way to just burn them to a CD instead of microfilm? See, these not archival. You can only put them on something that's archival. The microfilm is the only thing that is archival. Okay. Yep, I thought of that. <laughs> yeah, because DVDs are a permanent. Yeah. They, they will, they will uh, deteriorate over so many years. Microfilm kind of seems uh, outdated. Yeah, it's microfilm, you got to keep an eye on it because it does get diseases. So you do, I mean, there's a lot to record retention. You can get moldy. Yeah. So if it gets bad, you got to keep an eye on it because you've got to get another copy of that microfilm. I've got a ton of microfilm in my candy one's garage from the hospital. That's just fine. Can I pick it up and read it from the room? Because it got moldy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
just have one bed. Yeah, you want to push it. Really. Some sort of inspection or compliance or something. I don't mind doing a walkthrough. It's That's a school bus job. And well, I know. Does the state know. inspect them? I don't know. It's never been my concern. I mean, that's my only question. Is if they're asking you to do that, or, you know, is the state not doing it? Well, it's not that they're not doing it. It's just that they're not doing it. Well, that's the state 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 not doing it. Well, all the schools, hospitals, whatever else. Why do does the state? Uh, well, it used to be just and good now. Oh yeah, the lady, uh, yeah, and they did some food. Yeah, yeah. There was a guy from Hades that he came here with a dress and like the vaccine, you know, the immunizations, and that's up to the to the school board to make certain they're, that all their kids, it's is their policy. It's their policy. Yeah. yeah. So why a lot of this stuff on that list, I don't think the school board would 
realizes the safety concerns are so much light for shops, so much light right. for stadiums, so yeah. much light for they just yeah, we got lights. Yeah, they work. <laughs> they work. One of these days I have to read the license. It's interesting. That would be See, that's something that Doris got from Shawnee County or from Cooper Hunters, you know, practice. So some counties do do that. I don't know the name of it. First time I've ever encountered that. I think I know what my opinion of that station. Chair uh, Don Hornbaker, uh, Marcel Mest, and uh, Barbara's on there, uh, Silva Skulls, Kenny Clark, on there? Kenny Clark. Uh, Gene Pancher. Oh, so those are seven. Is that seven? Yeah, I know. We still have the railroad ties over there. So, 
right here in the corner. Right. No. It's still, I mean. Yeah. So. I don't know. Why, uh, why couldn't we put one here just by the barricade? In the alley. Well, what used to be the alley. That's what I suggest. That I mean, we're trying to work on the front to get it to look decent again. Yeah. <coughs> so. Either side. Yeah. Here or over there. Okay. If there's room to okay. get in there. Okay. broke in the wind Monday night. Uh, Maryland's in the vault at the appraiser's office. Uh, the storm window broke, so we had glass all over the front. Um, Carl and I got it picked up yesterday afternoon. Um, there's still pieces hanging out. We can't get them to fall, so the guy's supposed to be coming today from Frederick for to get out of it. So many prisoners were sick last year. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I have the 2014 Noxious Weed Management Plan that's due to the state today. Yeah. First, June, July. <laughs> I'm behind. <laughs> Recertification now, a recertification for up there in the lane that you go through. Their servers have been moved to Manhattan, but they haven't been. And so that she's, a, she's trying to do this all through her phone with me doing email and her on her phone. She is not pleased. Mm Lisa tells me we have not had a good response to my letters on the tax delinquent real estate. Right. I think we probably sent out like 40 letters and we've had what, one or two people? There at first we had a few people pay, but 
nothing, nothing really. I don't remember when is the deadline on the letter. I, I gave them like the first week of July. Yeah, so a lot of them well, may be waiting. Wait the last but I'm already having a lot of phone calls of a list for properties that's going to be in the next tax sale. Yeah, I've had some calls too. Yeah. But I said, well, we're just really not far enough along yet to give you anything. So. Well, I'm going to take our list of tax local properties as of the first week of July. I'm going to get a couple quotes. I guess we have three abstractors to choose from. Three entities that cover staff and county. And I'm going to be interested in price and also when can you get it back to you. Mm -hmm. That makes a difference, doesn't it? <laughs> also, I've noticed some abstractors are more timely than others. Mm -hmm. we're, we're recess. We've got I was yesterday and I had to get my employees in. On the other direction. We have 10 minutes. We've got 10 yeah. minutes before the next one comes in, so go ahead. 10 minutes that you're in recess? No, no, no. Uh, okay. Okay. 10, 10 minutes, minutes for you. Okay. 10 minutes for you. Okay. I don't have any new information to present. I just guess that I was trying to gauge whether there was um, specific action you wanted to formally take or give me any direction or, or wait, approve, wait and approve, see. Or get a board. We briefly talked about it when we got back here, and I think my idea would be to have all three of us, you, and then maybe one board member from each of the districts that would keep it equal amongst the county, you know, district one, two, and three, so you'd have a seven-member board. That's my idea. If we went with fire, there's no way we could. People? I don't know. Well, you'd have to write the bylaws to reflect that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that would be step three. Right. We're in step two now, so you'd have to. Uh, I suppose that board of directors has some say in exactly how you want to establish mm -hmm. the bylaws. Mm -hmm. I, but I'm just at this point drawing on the experience of having on the Nonprofit corporation, and they had the CSA and the funding and things. Okay. It is the commissioner's responsibility to come up with that, the board member. <laughs> So if we do it that way, it probably ought to be into a motion that that's the what I do. The other thing is it take the commissioner's time to use a resolution form. What do you say? Um, the taxing authority and all that, that takes that takes a resolution. No, no I didn't I have the statute but I thought it had to go for a vote it, before you can well, if you, it yeah, does, yeah. but I don't know if the process of putting it before the public for vote is to have a resolution yeah, to present. But I know there's something it's about it has to be an election. Yeah. If it's for revenue, it's to what before you would have any tax, tax levy. But yeah, if you exactly. had, that's why I asked him about the bond this morning. You yeah. didn't have to do that, right? Uh, but it would depend on how you, you were trying to raise it. Is, is this something that we need to budget the money for for 2015? Somewhere? Because we haven't. So we need to know that before we get too far with this budget if we're going to need some funds. I, I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. Legal wise? Legal wise, he said something around $5,000. They presented a letter of engagement that I've never brought to you after we first talked. And I asked him, what's the scope of work that you might project? 
and that letter of engagement dated February says no more than 10,000. So I'm sure that you know, he did today told you five. So as long as okay. you didn't have to but, drive out here Right. He was trying to yeah. But then the tenant, how was it? You could do tax exemption, but yet they would still provide the revenue to. You can charge job. user fees. Right. You can charge payment in your taxes if you wanted to negotiate those kind of agreements with tenants. There are different ways the port can generate funds in addition, you know, besides the idea of revenue taxes. And I think our, our obligation in regarding expenses would be uh, creating the board and, and, and have them, the, the law firm, draw up and the Dialogues. So ten thousand would cover. Okay. Yeah, five thousand been covered if he didn't have to be driving back and forth if he doesn't want. So and it's mainly it's telephone, video conferencing, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But they would come out yep. at least once a year. Right. So there you keep mileage and overnight expenses. I wouldn't see why you'd have to have them come out here yeah. out. Once and then that's just too noisy. Yeah. 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 So are you talking the payment in lieu of taxes would be a possibility on this? It's in the realm of options and okay. possibilities. Okay. Strictly speaking, the land that a port itself owns okay. is not That's a whole subject to property game for me. Um, my side of bookkeeping and stuff, so I very much want to be involved in communications. No, I'd be the same. Uh, I think resources would be uh, would be Grant County or those three counties that do have the Cimarron Port of uh, Port yeah. Authority right Port and they've been they've been in this now for five six years right right and uh, so instead of levying the tax my understanding is that they, they, there's, there's a lot, I think, I mean, it's kind of like to me setting up a corporation. There's a lot of different ways people can choose to execute their plan, you know. But in Cimarron Valley's case, or the Southwest, um, Cimarron Valley Railroad, Southwest Kansas Port Authority, what they did was six, six different counties came together to help finance the maintenance. Of, you know, they had a track that was at risk of being abandoned. So theirs was more, more focused on that idea of maintaining what they already had, and they pooled their resources with six counties, the state of Kansas and the railroad, to make upgrades or repairs or whatever to continue the railroad. And my understanding of it is that they didn't, what he said today, they didn't, they didn't choose to assess mill levies through the port specific to that. What they did is through the county general budgets, dedicated funds to a um, interlocal organization that in turn provided funds to the port. So it was a, a, a way of going about collecting the needed funds in their case without going to a general vote of the public. That's how I, how I read it because there was, there would have been a lot of difficulty in getting six counties, general electorates to a degree. So it kind of be like a historical society. It would be an outside entity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, is it, but my interpretation of the potential of this is less focused on, you know, that idea of maintaining what we've gotten, more the idea of developing a tool for, for growth. So, you know, start with 
one county, but it does have the ability to add other counties to a time inconceivably. What he said to, today is that yes, you can if you had other counties that wanted to, to join in and their then their residents have access to the public court too. I mean, they could conceivably be collecting taxes from their counties to dedicate to the development of facilities within our county. <coughs> It's like they got five million from KDOT and three million from BNSF and or whoever, and so there was a lot. Of, and then the selling point was on, on, this, on the railroad was KDOT was sold on the idea because it took less, it took more, it took less tonnage off of the roads, thus not deteriorating the roads, but their maintenance was less and. It was cost effective to the county pay for part of it, the railroad pay for part of it themselves, and KDOT pay for part of it. Yeah, I always thought they picked up these railroad tracks too soon around here. Mm -hmm. So, so you know, in this case, I'm considering the possibility of economic development administration, KDOT both from their economic development fund. Within the state of Kansas, there's economic development fund, there's a rail fund, and then KDOT can be a conduit to a program at U.S. Department of Transportation that can provide advantageous bond financing. So those are four buckets that I'm trying to, you know, see if we can access in one way or another. in addition to the private investment that we could go through. Yes. And the whole thing could go through without, <coughs> if it's done privately and they've reached an agreement on their own, it could go through without the Port Authority being involved too. So we really don't know at this point in time what's going to happen. Right. But I think we ought to establish can... the authority so that we can at least review it. Be proactive and you know, having a, somebody that could make that decision. If it's our opportunity to, in conjunction with that private investment, to establish some type of industrial use facility, another you know, industrial park or whatever, to me that is the the opportunity to create more opportunity for the future. You know, you have one private project and it's and it happens on its own. Great, that's that's fine. But that's it, you know. I'm still back to the position of it's difficult sometimes to be able to have the right authority, you know, have the resources, have literally even the land or whatever to work with developing new business. And this might be the way of achieving that with minimal exposure to our taxpayers because we can't maybe take advantage of this to, to, to get some public funding statewide, federal wide. Directed to it. Or at least have a site where they could move in if they wanted to. Well, you know, they raised the mind about the Hillsboro this kind of industrial park. It's out there for many, many years. And all of a sudden, here comes a building, and pretty soon there's another building. And, you know, and it, it's a small town. Mm -hmm. and, You do have someone potentially come in and want to relocate here. Well, well, you know, come back in two years from now, maybe we'll have this all figured out. So I think, I think we're on the right track. So is it just a consensus that you form this seven member board yeah. and, uh, <coughs> consisting of three county commissioners, John, and one representative from each commissioner? Right. And the commissioners are responsible for finding board members. Establish that contact the attorney and start working with the bylaws. Maybe I'll have that into a motion. I'll make that motion. Okay. Maybe you already got it all verbalized, Danny. <laughs> yeah. As stated. As stated. I'll second that motion as stated. <laughs> okay, we have a motion and a second to establish a port authority board, which would include 
the three commissioners, Carolyn, and one additional member from each commissioner district that would be recruited by the, each commissioner. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, motion carried. Thank you. Well, these were two things that I um, just handed out to just kind of give a frame of reference of, I don't know, that's one example that may provide some inspiration. Remember, I failed to hand that up, but I intended that, you know, it's an example of a port in rural North Dakota. And, you know. Is that the one that you talked about? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it can be like rural North Dakota, northern Surely we can do it here. That's, that's a happening place. <laughs> it is. You know, they, my understanding is they started that in 2007 before that oil field activity really took off. And certainly the oil field activity was fueled it a whole lot faster, in growing a whole lot faster than they ever anticipated in the first place. But it wasn't the sole reason that it was created. And so the, the, the sheet from the engineering firm is the reason I can't print it off because it was the most concise. Um, description of the history of it. So they were apparently involved in engineering it originally back in 2007, so it's not that old of a facility, and they're on their second expansion now. So, just, you know, not that everything applies, but it, it does provide some example of, you know, where Southwest Kansas, it seems to me, was more preservation oriented. This one is what I look to as an example of a rural port that's more you know, development oriented. So. Okay. Thank you. Morning. 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 talk to you about the jail budget. I lowered it some um, and I realized that could bite me because I have no idea what's going to happen but uh, Joe and I talked about it for the last several years 
he figures, and so do I. Eventually, people will get the idea that if they screw up, they're going to go to jail, and they might not come here to do it. And I'm not so sure part of that isn't happening already. And then Greensburg, uh, you know, we pay less there, and we're taking more prisoners there. And with this new video deal, I think it will help some on the transport part. Is it so, up and running, ma'am? Yes. Yeah. So I. Are you missed it? No. I don't think she's used it. Nope. It's ready. At least you're over what you spent last year. You know, I should increase the. We've run that 34% of his budget right now, but like he says, he's got that 30000 built in there. That, that could be one chunk out all the time. Yeah. So he's yeah. running more than this year. Yeah. Well, yeah, that, that said, and this was after I did my budget, but um, well, we have one prisoner that is in Calva County right now, and she has some issues, and she's got to have some surgery done, so the jail budget won't want to give me a month or so. No, but you've only got 7,000. I know. So, but I was trying to, I mean, I don't want to cut it so that I go over, but I was trying to cut what I could, just, I mean, that's what, I figure that's our job, just trying so, to. Jeff, is this out of necessity or is it cosmetic? Necessity. And I tried to get them over a bond. That didn't work. So, apparently there's new case law in that that I didn't know about. But you can't arrest him or or be in the custody anymore. So. <laughs> but I tried. Can't have a do over for that. And the other line item that I put an increase in uh, was for two bulletproof vests. Their shelf life is only five to seven years, and these two are over seven. So I've added to the personnel, personal equipment. And then the salaries, um, I realize that depending on whether I think they deserve one or not, but i got to have it in there in case I, they're doing well, which I anticipate. Well, I'm mean, having trouble. We've got two dispatchers that still haven't hit the end of one deputy. So. And the uh, capital outlay went down because that was including the finger. Right. The yeah. Because the, the price I had on that last one was 26800 and something. So it's going to pretty much take it. And I toyed with the idea of dropping the juvenile some because we haven't used much of it for years. And then yeah, in the yeah. last month, <laughs> we had two of them in, and I think we're getting in at a third, so oh, I just left them alone. But, do you have any questions? Not budget related. <laughs> <laughs> Any more surveillance people come in and submit? No. no. How many? Blue? Well, there were three that actually came. Well, four, because uh, Dayton was supposed to be here whatever day at 10 o'clock. And I was here. And about 10.20, I left. Dispatch calls and says, Dayton's here. So I come back. I walked in and said, well, he's around here somewhere. I walked around the courthouse, couldn't find him. I left him two messages. He left his number. I left him two messages and I have never heard from him. So I didn't call him either. But the others, I haven't heard anything out at PNS or um, Goldenville. 
and they they were actually told to submit their bids to NETA. And I assume they would do the same thing the last guy did and just want to come present it to you guys. I heard that was... Well, I had a feeling after walking around with all of them, you, you were going to get a Cadillac version, a Chevy Love version, and somewhere in between. And he explained it at all. Yeah, digital, analog. Yeah. To every wire, to every nut and bolt. Which one was in I thought, was he? I, I would he say was probably next day. He called the bell. Next day. Next day. That's this guy. Yeah. Next. <laughs> the Golden Bell guy, I saw him well, after he went around, he kind of said, I think it's going to be too much. Right. It's going to be too expensive. Maybe he just didn't even want us to do it. I don't know. I'm surprised it was P and S was real it was P and S that was wanting. Yeah. They were the ones wanting to They wanted a drawing of the building and all this stuff. Blue panel building. I don't have that. I have no idea. So I figured that was gonna be the Cadillac. What did they want the blueprints? Yeah, this this what was it? P and S wanted a blueprint of the building. All of them. I don't why? Why? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know where the evidence room was. Probably. Well, I guess they need to yeah, see yeah, structurally in the breach areas, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'll be able to see that. Well, like this building, there was only one camera inside the building, and that was when you walked this two was over by the sheriff's office. Everything yeah. else was on the outside. Yeah. And then a lock. And by the way, I would be calling that electrician and say, why isn't our lock? Oh, it is now. It is? Yep. Yeah. It's only been a year. No, it's been a year. Nine years? No. Six months? For what? Uh, the, 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 well, the, on the north door. Oh. Yeah. You want to them checks? Yeah. Yeah. It was when I brought that up last time. It was actually done like two days before that. I oh, was really? going. He wasn't informed. Right. Okay. So now, yeah, he, he did. Now, what about the vehicles in the impoundment area? You gonna get rid of them? You know, talk about a sale or something. Yeah. 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 About a sale. Same time we did, did the real estate. Did you talk about an auction? Was that what? I don't think was we talked. About? We talked about an auction. We talked about purple. Land, we talked yeah. about sealed bids. We talked right. about. See, we've we've done sealed bids. That's what we did last time. Yeah, but you yeah. don't you don't get a lot. Yeah. Out of it. The purple wave seems to be a lot on there. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I haven't talked to you about that. Purple wave auction on the uh, seized vehicles or uh, mm -hmm. in the state. Cedric County is really. Yeah, a lot really, of counties you know, are doing that. Some vehicles are. So I have to just video it and send it to them. They come out. They take, come out. They come they out. Come take out. pictures of it and a description of it. If it's got keys or not, or what the history is. Hmm. I know. So you can get all the paperwork in order and just give it to Purple Way. Mm -hmm. They come and get it. Uh huh. Is there's. Well. Yeah, but you have to do the paperwork on it. You. Mm -hmm. you so, and you can't do that till after the sale. Correct. To assign it to the group. Yeah. So, but I don't some know how it works, saying that but they I didn't want to sell, but they just need to be crushed. And oh, yeah. Know. There's three or four that's yeah. uh, There's a trailer that's been in there for well over 10 years. It's burnt to the ground. It's just that's crazy. Right. Yeah. And there's wow. some other, they're just yeah. destroyed. I mean, burnt up or crushed so bad. And I actually had a county employee said that, like, the crusher deal several years ago, Phil said that they came out to the landfill occasionally and they let us know. Well, apparently, I haven't come out for a while, I don't think they have. But uh, Scott Clausen said that he would be glad to haul them to Pratt, whatever, just to get them out of there. But we've got to get. They're clearing the back. So we've got, got to get rid of some before we can get to them. But he, he said he'd be glad to come on a Saturday, whatever, and just start pulling things out and hauling out. 
So if you guys don't have a problem with that, if we can do that, you want to sell them? I mean, I don't think you guys can buy those. I mean, we can get that done now. You don't have a problem with it. Can I just do it for the price of the scrap? Yeah, I mean, we're not going to make much of it. But I think the others we can put on the purple way. Yeah, I've talked to you about that. I didn't, I didn't know. But you don't have any more space in there, do you? No, not much. Well, let's, let's make some space. <laughs> but do you have to bit, do the paperwork all the same on like it's a regular vehicle, don't you? If, if Scott's going to get the income off of it, that's like a sell to him then, isn't it? I don't know. I guess, Jim. Well, we're just basically pay, paying him a haul, right. basically. I'll talk to Joe and make sure it's fine. Yeah, you want, because to me, I think you still have to have a, some sort of process to get the because when you haul to salvage yards, don't you have to show ownership? Mm -hmm. and, and you wouldn't technically own them. They'd still be titled under the old people's name. True, but some of them you can't even... Well, they've been burned up and you did. I don't know, we can get a bin off them. Yeah, I, I don't know how it works. I just mm -hmm. want to make sure... Well, I'll talk to Joe and find out if I can do it with this group. Yeah. I don't think we got the purple one either. Yeah, you right. say Reno County? I know that? Reno County puts a lot of stuff on there. I know Southern does because I looked at their so stuff. So you might call, yeah, call I don't know sure the program. process. Or I had the guy's card. He's called me on how many times? <coughs> yes. Purple wave guy? Yeah. They're buddies. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Well, I need to talk to you. I'll need to find out from them how that, because she's right, i got to fill all that paperwork out and I can't do it until I buy it. I don't know how it works. I'm not just Maybe there's a way around it. I'll yeah, call the from there. Is it like on a trailer? Was it a tag trailer? Well, one time. <laughs> it was a Winnebago type deal, is what it was. Some of those places are tables. So that's. If you pay the car, it would cost you more than what he's going to get out I'll visit with him again. Make sure he was serious. Okay. All right. Have Back fun. You're training. Thanks. Breaks on the open. Yeah. That's Anything else? I don't have any. No. Okay.